Everybody, I thought in this vlog I would answer a couple of questions. Well, at least one question put to me on YouTube. So somebody writes here, I'll just highlight it. Python is slower language if we, if we compare with others. But in fact, Python is used to build Instagram, which is true, which the CEO of Instagram said, guessing this guy wrote this in a hurry or English is not his first language. It's all good. Anyways, he said he gave priority to speed and user experience. What do you think, Stefan? Well, yes, Python code can be written so that it gives priority to speed and user experience. No question. But which is also no question is that Python does run slower than things like Java, PHP, and Swift. So does that matter? No, not especially important, especially at first, because the key thing when you're building a new app is to get it out into the public as quickly as possible. And since Python is a dynamically typed language. It's a language basically that makes it easy to get your apps out quickly, kind of like PHP, kind of like Swift. Java on the other hand is much more verbose, meaning it takes a lot more Java code to get something done. So if I today were writing a new app to get out into the public, I would choose the fastest to write programming language in preference than a speedy programming language at runtime. So what does that mean? I would go for a language that's easier to build things with and I would deal with the fact that it runs slower for now because here's what you can do. If your app actually becomes a success, you could start optimizing your code for speed. You could in fact have a big part of your app written in Python as an example and maybe write another part of it in another language if that's much faster for some of those areas where you need a lot more speed if you couldn't address the speed issues with faster servers or more processors. This is a, a very common design pattern. A design pattern is basically just a way of designing your apps. In fact, many, many, many apps are written with multiple languages, whether it be web apps. Of course, web apps, you're written HTML and CSS. HTML and CSS are not programming languages or markup languages, but nonetheless, you've got HTML, CSS, and you have JavaScript, which you're going to use JavaScript for any code that's going to be running inside a web browser. And then on the server end, you could have PHP, you could have Python, you could have Java, you could have C Sharp, you could have Ruby, et cetera, et cetera, and even now Swift. So using more than one programming language in an app, web app is very common, and even in other types of apps, using multiple programming languages is not anything special. So don't worry about that. So yeah, if you like Python, you want to get an app out quickly to see whether or not it's going to make any money, if it's going to actually going to have any success, then write it in Python uh, or whatever other fast-to-write language that you choose. And then you just take it from there. So, yeah, it's all cool. It's all cool.